So stochastic gradient descent is a variation of gradient descent, except for it uh, runs faster by updating the model's parameters using only a single sample. So stochastic calculus is, uh, sorry, stochastic gradient descent is like gradient descent. Descent. It processes faster though. Uh, all right, by updating the model's parameters to use a single set. slash subset of the full data set. Uh, this allows for much faster iterations, but the trade-off is that the updates are noisier, uh, which can lead to resultant fluctuations and potentially only converging to a neighbor of the minimum rather than the minimum itself. Stochastic gradient descent works well when the data set is large and redundant, so works well with large and redundant data. Uh, as the noisy steps can help to escape local minima um, and possibly leading to better generalization of unseen data. better generalization of unseen data. And to go over the symbols, so stochastic gradient, the theta, is the parameter vector. Eta, the symbol, eta is a learning rate. And then this bad boy here. X for I, and then Y, I, I plus B. Which is uh, the gradient of the loss function with respect to theta. With respect to theta. Stochastic gradient descent is evaluated. a single set of the full Data set. There we go. And now let's head over to mini batch gradient descent. And so, yeah, thank you very much for taking time to watch this. If you found this video helpful, be sure and feel free to please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, feel free to put it in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye bye.